Brie is back, and I haven't seen Brie in a while, actually. So let's go ahead and prep her for a new set. I'm going to use my fine grit sanding band, and I'm just going to go over her natural nails with it very carefully. She had a lot of pterygium on her nails, so I pushed that back, and I tried to cut a little bit off, but I accidentally made her bleed just a tiny bit on her thumb. This is why I don't cut shit, okay? Uh, the pterygium is skin that stretches down the nail, okay? So it didn't come down too far, but it came down a little bit. Um, so the pterygium is the skin that stretches down the nail. And I remember that in school because it has the word gum in it and gum stretches. So pterygium, gum, gum. anyway, we're going to go ahead and prep her natural nail. I'm going to glue on her tips. We're going to cut them down pretty short because Brie is just a short kind of girl. I'm going to use a two bead method on her nails. I'm going to start at the apex. She doesn't need such a high apex because the nail is just so short. So the longer the nail, the higher the apex, the shorter the nail, the shorter the apex. You know the rule. I did use a base coat. She did show me an inspiration picture. The inspiration picture was something Something I did on Danielle and it was just um, like a pink and white kind of marbly looking uh, look with some gold foil coming uh, along that line so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my uh, little art brush from Sandara Nails and I'm going to pull down two coats of the sapphire she wanted the sapphire because it's what she has on her tiggy toes then after I put on the second coat I will go ahead and marble in just the tiniest tiniest bit of white we did not want a lot of white in there because I didn't want the white turning into a light blue. Because if I was messing around too much with that white in the blue, it would change either the color of the sapphire or the white would turn light blue. So I just did a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Okay, after I cure that, I'm going to go back and I'm going to add some gold foil. Now, the gel on her nails has a tacky layer and that's exactly what the foil is going to stick to so I shredded some little pieces apart and put them on my table and I'm going to pick them up with my pointy tweezers now this part I got some foil where I didn't want it so rather than deleting the clip I'm going to show you how I clean it up I use my cleanup brush I dip it in acetone because the acetone will not compromise that gel because it's cured and then I just cleaned up the foil where I didn't want it easy peasy pumpkin cheesy pie whatever whatever and I'm just going to go along and I'm going to put on that foil where I want it which is right along that line of that sapphire color once I have all of it in place I'm going to go back and I'm going to make sure I press it down nice and flush and flat with my finger because um you don't want any of it sticking up two top coats guys and then here is the final look